In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add your VAT number to your Xero invoices. Now, ensuring that your invoices contain all the necessary information is crucial for maintaining transparency with your clients. And if you're in a region that uses value added tax or VAT, including your VAT number is a must. This not only enhances the credibility of your business, but also ensures compliance with tax regulations. So if you've been struggling to get your VAT details onto your zero invoices, you're in the right place. Let's dive straight into the process. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to Xero's official website. Once there, locate the login button, which you'll find in the top right corner of the home page. Clicking this will take you to the login page, a fairly straightforward page where you will input your credentials. Here you'll enter your email and password associated with your Xero account. Upon entering these, click on the login button to access your dashboard. With access to your Xero dashboard, the next step is crucial. You're going to want to adjust the settings that pertain specifically to how your invoices are generated and viewed. To do this, look for the Your Organization link. It might be subtly placed, but it's there. Clicking on it reveals various options related to your organization's profile in Xero. After you're in your organization's profile section, you'll need to find the settings option. The settings section is a comprehensive area where you can adjust everything from billing information to how your invoices look. Within settings, you're looking for a more specific link titled invoice settings. This is where all the magic happens in terms of customizing how your invoices appear to your clients. Once you've clicked through to your invoice settings, a new range of options unfolds. Among these, you want to find and click on options. This might seem like we're going deep into the rabbit hole of settings, but each step is crucial for ensuring your VAT number appears exactly where and how you want it on your invoices. Within the options, there will be an edit button. Clicking this takes us one step closer to our goal. It allows us to modify the invoice layout and what details are included. Look for the setting labeled Show Tax column. This particular option is key because it directly affects whether tax details, including your VAT number, are visible on the invoices you send out. After you've toggled the Show Tax column setting to your satisfaction, don't rush off. The job isn't done until you hit the Save button. This action ensures all the changes you've painstakingly made are applied. Without this step, your invoices will revert to their prior state, devoid of the necessary VAT details. Here's a pro tip before we conclude. When adjusting your tax settings, Xero offers you the choice between showing your tax as either an exclusion or inclusion. This is an important decision as it affects how your taxes are calculated and displayed on the invoice. Exclusion means the tax will be calculated separately and added to the subtotal, while inclusion means the tax is already calculated within the total price of each item or service. Choose the option that best aligns with your pricing strategy and tax reporting requirements. And with that final tip, you've reached the end of our tutorial on how to add your VAT number to your Xero invoices. Remember, keeping your invoices accurate and fully detailed not only secures your compliance with tax laws, but also elevates your professionalism in the eyes of your clients. So take this process seriously and make sure your invoices reflect all the necessary information. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more insightful guides. Until next time, keep your finances clear and your details accurate.